Welcome to the sixth video in the series of creating a graphical application with TK, Inter, and Python. We have come full circle and I think the app as it is now can be used as an end product or finished application. Of course, you can always add more features and functionalities, but let's leave it as it is for now. So in review, the app stays on top of your windows. It is minimal in aspect and it doesn't interfere with your workflow. And it conveniently switches between search engines, which is probably its main feature. So it switches between um, Google and DuckDuckGo. So let's run the app one more time. F5. So you can immediately start typing once the app is is opened. Let's select duck, hit search, see how it goes. Okay, so it works as we expect it to. Now what we want to do is to build an executable out of this application, so an exe file that you could conveniently run um, in Windows. In my case, I'm using Windows 864 bits. So uh, to do this, we'll use a module called py2exe. And there are many other modules. Uh, there is another one, py installer, that I know of that builds executable Windows files out of um, Python um, code. So in our case, we'll, we'll use py2exe. So to, you open up a command prompt, and if you don't have py2exe, just pip3 install py2exe. And I already have it installed on my system, so it should say that the requirement is, is already satisfied. Okay, it takes some time to run this uh, command. Probably because my command prompt is initializing. So yeah, requirement already satisfied. Now, another important thing that we want to do is to save our um, .py file as .py double from this .py or .pyc. It might open a console window along the application, but we we only want our root application to, to run, so we don't want to have uh, the console application on the side. So that's why we, we're going to save it as .pyw before making it an exe. Now back to the command prompt. We're just going to navigate to our application folder. In my case, it is desktop. And we're going to build it as exe with the following command. So py3 minus m py to exe dot build exe and the script. So it's tkapp5.pyw. Let's run it. This should take about, I don't know, a minute or less than a minute to, to run. Once this is completed, there's going to be a, a folder on 
in, the, in my case on the desktop um, a folder called dist and it's gonna have the tkapp.exe as well as its dependencies um, why do you want to build it as an exe well you can conveniently further pack it as a zip and send it to to others that have a system that's similar to yours um, and they would be able to use the app without having to have Python installed on, on their system. So um, the command completed and there's the folder dist I assume is distribution and inside the folder there should be our TK app as exe so if we double click it it should open our application and it does and let's run our query one more time illusions or illusion click duck hit enter and it does what it has to do okay i guess this is it for this series uh, though i have some other ideas in mind which i might use in um in other in other series um so stay tuned um there there are some some uh there are many functionalities that you can further add to this application so uh one that comes to mind would be using voice search would be to have a um, a button over here that you would use to for voice input instead of text um, and plus you could also add other um, other options here aside of Google and DuckDuckGo but we'll leave this for for other series so um, I guess stay tuned and um, that's it for for now um, on your way out, please hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.